What's up everyone, Super Auto Gaming here, and today I buy every snail. Now would you believe me if I told you that this was a 1 HP comeback, 4 squad, snail every time I see it victory? Well, you'll just have to find out. So the rules for this are, I have to buy every snail that I see, I have to keep every snail that I buy, and I must at least get one snail to level 3. So, we're getting, you know, we're, we're getting into the toughies because uh, when you buy Snail and you win the round of four, it does absolutely nothing. And um, being constrained to, to that is, uh, is quite difficult. We actually go for a uh, back to start, which is really good. We didn't find a dromedary though, so that's a bit unfortunate. So not only 1HP comeback, by every snail that we see, 4 squad, we also back to literally everything you could possibly do in a game, I do it. So, that's what you, you love to see it. And um, I'm actually a really big fan of Drom Beetle. Uh, I think it's way better than it should be. Uh, I feel like it works way more, um, way more of the time than you think it would which is what makes it so good, because you can kind of force Beetle Drom and uh, lose quite a few rounds and it just it just work out. So, because like even here, we're, we're on turn five, we haven't won a single round. Uh, we're probably gonna lose the next one and I get Llama, uh, Bison, and I freeze them both. I have to freeze the Snail as well, which will be really good because I'll probably lose next turn. And then, um, and then I can buy everything on the board. But normally you get a few more turns to actually buff up your units with the, the Bacta strategy. And all Bacta is is freezing units in your shop. So, yeah, we, we aren't looking too good here. We, we only got a few buffs with that. Yeah, we can actually hit it with an Apple. Get three more health I think is definitely worth it. Because all of these units we have to keep. And I make a little bit of a mistake here. I probably should have just sold uh, both Dromedary. I think about it for a while, and I think maybe maybe I should keep it, but I think at the end of the day, the plus two plus two on uh, the Llama will be way better. So at least for turn six, we're strong. But uh, with a four squad, and we did... we aren't using back to anymore so our beetles kind of done with but we need to keep them for the bison it's uh, looking a bit scary hopefully we can find uh, a few more things to balance out the team yeah and now at this point every snail that I buy will do nothing absolutely nothing I cannot lose any more games which uh, is very tragic Yep, and I decide buffing the snail is probably the best course of action. If I have to keep it and get it to level 3, it might as well be big, you know? That's my motto, be big. We get, oh, you love to see a lobster player. This poor lad, though, does not stand up to my, my double bison. They're basically two bison, let's be real. Or double llama, you could say either one. Honestly, our team is pretty strong for turn 8, though. Um, we see another snail, too. We gotta freeze that bad boy and buy him on the next turn. That's how we do it around here. Um, at least running a 4 squad, though, if I do get my snail to level 3. Well, I will get it to level 3. But if I do get it to level 3 and I find another one after that, then I will always have an open slot to play my snail. Whereas other squads... If, if I get it to level 3 and I find um, one more of that unit, I would have to get rid of a unit that I've probably invested a lot into, which uh, would be very detrimental. So we're going to get the level 2 uh, snail next turn. I almost said level 2 sloth. Yeah, you, you wish, buddy. I haven't found a sloth in, like, I don't know. It's been a long time. I found so many when I first started playing. Never again. I was cocky. I rolled past them. Not all of them, but a, but a couple of them. I shouldn't have done that. Chocolate the Llama. I think that's a very, very wise move. We're still early into this, and I only have one life. So at this point, I need, I need as many stats as I can get. 
and we actually don't replace beetle there um of course we can't uh my bison <laughs> it need my bison needs him but i mean looking at this squad you're like dude how are you how are you gonna make it any further than this well you know you get a little bit of luck and uh you pop off So chili, I think we're gonna get a front chili exactly onto my snail. I love running front chili. So many people don't chili dodge. It's a very, very good thing to do. And uh, these turns are going pretty quick now. Scorpion destroys me, but that that's okay. We've got some uh, big boys in the back. And I don't know if we'll be able to replace the beetle anytime soon. I need my bison as big as possible. Uh, maybe if it was a level 2, but it's not. And I don't think we can afford to get it to a level 2. Probably Chocolate Snail um, is what I would think. And then meat on one of the other two. I think I decide Llama because in my mind, I'm still like, I'm going to get rid of a uh, Beetle at some point. In my mind, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we probably want to get um, Llama to the front. Is this also going to be a melonless run? You know, I feel like every game that I go, uh, at least one unit has a melon, you know? Uh, I feel like it's very imperative. But uh, with this one, we, we might not even need it. Might not even need it. The snail is too powerful. All I do is hit it with pairs every other turn, and it's huge. The other two buff themselves, and then I'm basically running a three squad, if you think about it. We have our level three snail, finally. And um, it's it's much, much early to go. I don't know if we'll do it immediately, because we could find another snail in the shop. That's the good thing about um, the chocolate rule, is that I'm, I'm not forced to buy the chocolate. I can, but I'm not forced to, uh, which is the good thing. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, and I don't. I end up not doing it. Or I, I guess I roll one more just to see. I'll probably just hit an apple with something. Because now at this point, I don't want to... I don't want to roll into another snail, you know? I think we are good where we're at. All I want is food, and that's it. Again, this guy has no melon either, so not a lot of people running melon. And it's uh, turn 15, so the team should be strong, for sure. And uh, we're still... I mean, I don't, I feel like we're not that strong. This, this game, I did not feel very confident in, especially since it was a one HP comeback. You, you lose, losing those, all, all those early rounds prevents me from, or prevents Snail from doing absolutely anything. But uh, we, we get a turtle in here for the last turn, just in case, because uh, Llama's already big enough, so. And this guy, you love to see it. Thank you so much for watching though. I hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe if you want to see more, and you know what, have a great day.